I do not wish to say anything on this occasion that might be regarded as prejudicial to the peace talks now going on in Kampala, Uganda. But in the words of Mr. Asika, the rebel leaders ought to know when enough is enough. They should call a halt to the shameless deception of innocent Igbos with reports of fictitious victories on the battlefronts. They should appreciate that the so-called diplomatic recognition by dubious characters cannot, in the least, alter the course of Nigerian history. It is sheer wickedness for Ojuku and his clique to continue to guard innocent citizens to support rebellion and lay down their lives for a cause that is not just. The rebel leaders know in their hearts of hearts that all their false propaganda about genocide and massacre derives from personal ambition and the haunting fear of their own future and safety. Consequently, they do not know when to stop. I call on those who claim to love Nigeria and the Igbos to face realities and advise the people of the East Central State to lay down their arms and return to the fold. It is not enough for organizations and individuals to ask the federal government to cease hostilities while ignoring the evil intentions of the rebels. I honestly believe it is in the true interest of the Igbos that they return to the fatherland. I am satisfied that all other Nigerians have learned the lesson of our most recent history and the current civil war. And I pray to God that there will never be a repetition. <laughs>